Yow! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. UGC Highlander getting ready to start. We're actually under two minutes away. So let's go into this right away. Koth Viduct, the map for the night. First up, rosters is Desolation Angels. Um, or did I totally mess that up? Are we That's the fine. That's the Angels is no. fine. Real quick. <laughs> I got fooled. He tricked me once. Um, oh, well, we're going with Gangsta Gang Gaming. GGG, even though they're tagged up as GG. Their uh, scout is Blaze. Soldier is Watt. Comatose, their pyro. Their bio, uh, their demo man, is missing in action tonight. Replaced by MC the Bushido. Um, I'm not sure if that's Black Dynamite. Judging by the avatar, maybe somebody give me a heads up on that one. But uh, moving on, uh, Mala is their heavy weapons, the Raffle Mauer, the Engineer, Seabass the Medic, and Star, a uh, YouTube video producer on Sniper. Their spy is Big Raz Team Carrier. Take a look over at Desolation uh, Angels. Yep, Odessa. Colony, their scout, Infinite the Soldier. Uh, UGC Admin does have a community <coughs> rocket launcher. Putting Cup, Putting Cup, their Pyro. Chris, the Demo Man. Fighter, the Heavy. Pusa de Abe Lincoln, Engineer, Firefly, the Medic, Nova Mode, the Sniper, and Hey, the Spy. Yeah, I'm also uh, joined by our cameraman and producer and commentator for the night. He is staying busy. Michael, what is up, man? How's it going, folks? Pretty good, man. All right. <laughs> hey, 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 X time. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, just having a little dialogue with myself there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, are you hearing yourself on the microphone? Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I had to uh, get that a little fixed, but uh, yeah, we're good hey, to go. Great. So, uh, some news semi-related to you, Michael, but uh, Communities versus Pros, number <coughs> three, the registration is open. The address is pubcomp.com slash CVP. Nice and easy for you guys to remember. If you are part of a public server community, you should go hit up that link, find three of your players, uh, what classes they like to play and uh, submit your community to the communities versus pros because it always rolls around and then people get extremely jelly and then they're like how come you got to play in this and um, <laughs> you know I'm sure Michael maybe you could tell us at halftime because uh, right now we're about to go live yeah let's uh, that was let's a segue a anyways right? <laughs> there it is uh, so Viaduct is all gonna be about point control and really it is gonna be all about the frags here ladies and gentlemen Gonna have to watch uh, some of the players here. Hey, the the spy for blue. Blaze, though, uh, Red Scout and Star, probably gonna go pretty huge. Blaze is a nasty scout. Infinite, the first down. And now Hey gets a backstab on Seabass. So the medic down for Red Team. That's uh, gonna probably switch things, although they can still get the first here. Firefly, very close to getting the Uber charge. Madness all around. Backstabs coming in from the blue spy. Or the red spy, excuse me. And wow, Blaze doing yeah, Blaze. work there. Managing to uh, keep the point clear in spite of all the... Uh, their, their meta going down and all the pressure. Uh, so yeah, yeah they managed to even it up. And now they're putting uh, real time on the red side. Uh, I think they're going to take the cap here. A uh, nice forward position on that mini sentry covering the point. And yeah, uh, yeah it looks like we have a cap right as the uh, blue meta gets up. The blue spy's getting in a good position right behind the red medic, actually. Maybe a little slow to come after him. Uh, gonna sap the uh, uh, sentry gun, but have to deal with Blaze immediately. Trying to get swipes on the medic. The medic is down to 45 in that corner. Should be back, and red team in control. Of, uh, thanks in part to Blaze. Good timing. Right now, though, their medic continues to be injured 98%. But there you go, finally healing somebody. So, uh, can can pop it if you do. Yeah, I... I Gotta say, he did a good job of getting away there. Uh, mm. Very dangerous, though. Uh, I don't know that I wouldn't have popped it at that at that moment, but uh, you know, good job saving it there. That's uh, it's, crit it's crit Creek from Blue here. They haven't found the medic, but that's all right if they can get some big claps. And of course, there we go, though. Firefly goes down to the snipe by Star. Um, blue team surging forward on some of the frags, but they're hurt without their medic. Yeah, that's twice now that he's uh, dropped in. Uh, I don't know about this uh, decision to um, crits. You never really want to crits into an Uber. Uh, looks like he does maintain, though, because he's got a 20% charge already, which means I think he's using the Vita Saw. And, uh, yep, there it is. He's got the crits creep going already at 40%. Uh, 
Uh, Uber goes down for the red team. Yeah, Seabass gets sniped immediately after that drops. Blaze and Mala going down, so blue team surging back in here. I think they should get their first capture of the night. There we go. Uh, start that clock ticking. A minute and a half is uh, uh, not not too bad. Um, certainly they can uh, work with that, but uh, it's going to be tough. They're going to have to get a really solid hold here. Their engineer um, has a dispenser behind the rocks, which is a nice position. Uh, Metal should be able to set up again. A sniper for Red Down, who is uh, one of the big playmakers. That'll open up the blue defense. Your crit's great as well. And, wow, getting kills. Blaze getting killed by a reflected... Really. Madness all over, but Chris getting good kills with that Chris Craig. Yeah, that Chris Craig did a lot of work there. Firefly. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where he got off to. It seemed like he was slow to start healing. And so, uh, D Bash should have the Uber by the time the next Fritz is ready. Yeah, either way, there was a big advantage. Uh, just because he got away, they didn't kill him that time with the crits. So, uh. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Looks like yeah, right now he's got to should just move immediately here. Yep. Indeed they do. Um, oop. Blue's gonna have to back up and then surge onto the point and stop the capture. Um, Crit Creek's a little too far off, but Red doesn't really have offense here. Blue's gonna re be able to reposition. That's definitely how you have to think of Viaduct. Is it's a surge forward and backward. And uh, you know, in Highlander versus Sixes, some of those uh, I don't know, pushing the territory, pushing the line of war. Forward and backwards uh, gets a lot harder. Yeah, absolutely. Especially uh, when there's just so many players that could potentially be up and you don't know where they're at, and it's impossible to make good calls when there's nine players. You know, you really have to just yeah. kind of tell everyone to shut up, except for the soldier, the demo, and the medic, and you know, that's all you can really get. Uh, big Chris Creek going page. down. Yeah. Uh, and there was oh, a great rocket out of infinite man. Just take down Star. Yeah, Chris Creek doesn't really do much there, but as long as they can basically do the thing to Sea Bass, he gets this Uber. Uh, also, very nice follow-up by Colony. Uh, Infinite got a nice shot on Toast, went down to Combat Toast, and Colony finished the kill uh, with air gun, air shot, scatter gun. Here comes, Here comes Uber from Red. Yeah, yeah they've got and big numbers up. They're definitely going to take it right here. Yeah. Good serve from them with that Uber. And Blue wasn't able to get the kills. Now they're starting to get numbers, but they need to stay and then use this Crits Creek effectively here. Um, he's got it on infinite. There he goes. Actually, with the demo man, but um, they're moving together well. Getting crit. Yeah. Managed to scare off red, but they got a they got a hold now. And was Fireball. that a? Um, yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Raz got a backstab. I thought it was on the medic, but uh. Yeah, it was. It was. Oh, it was fire. Fire? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, looked a little uh, weird on the cam, but uh, go yeah, ahead. It was a good follow-up by Blue, though, because also sometimes in Highlander, and, and Sixes as well, but I mean, you know, as we've talked about <coughs> different rhythms of Highlander, especially on Viaduct, they lost their medic there after that crit streak, but at that point, it didn't really matter. Like, they scared away the whole red team, they got frags, they put the damage out there, and they were also all uh, relatively healthy since they pushed red back. So they lost their medic, but they were able to just succeed after that because they got so many frags and so much pressure. He's still on crit streak, by the way, after it respawn. Yeah, and I was actually going to say, Seabass is doing a much better job of uh, charging his Uber. Uh, he's on crits as well. Actually. Oh, he is? Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's one of the natures, or, you know, I don't know. Oh, Red Medic going down. Yeah, I was going to say something about a, uh, switch to crit streak, um, but uh, it was uh, unfortunate losing him there, especially right when they were get that crit streak. Red look like they might be able to solidify this. Yep, indeed. There we go. Blaze on the point. And um, a full minute, though, so Firefly can uh, build up his charge. Uh, whatever it is he's got right now. It's still That's a crit. Right now, crits, yeah. And they should be able to... They're actually... Right now, I think they kind of have local numbers. They could get some important kills if they keep the pressure on right now. Oh, yeah. Firefly almost gets taken out with that bomb. Yeah, Soldier got really close to when they're uh, heading the deep, deep red. Looks like GG's kind of starting to uh, lose a couple of key players. Lost a soldier, lost a heavy. Uh, Chris Creek goes down now on the demo end. Uh, yeah, you got Seabass. That's the most important one right there, getting yep. Seabass. Good pyro uh, presence. Uh, gonna maybe get the kill on Firefly. Oh, all, all the players of blue are going down. Yeah, Blaze did some work. Definitely got I, at least two kills I saw there. Might have been a third. Um, but yeah, manages wow. to clear him off all the point. And uh, 
they are going to go into super overtime, double overtime, both sides. Um, yeah, blue could. Uh, no, they're they're mostly getting pressured out here. The, the yeah. scout's gonna have to bring invite level, but no, <laughs> not there. The pyro's there. Devil man is there as well. The heavy's gonna gun down everybody, uh, unless this wrangled sentry gun is soup. Yep, there we go. Not gonna do anything. But yeah, Blaze is doing work with 20 points that round. Yeah, surpassing his medic and um, the the spy was up there as well. Um, I, I gotta point it out to that, that pyro play right there. I think the pyro came in at the perfect time and shut down that blue offense. Um, Blaze obviously followed up, put out a lot of damage, but the pyro I think was a very nice play. Yeah, and that, great that air blast. all that round came down to. That was it. That was very, very close. Um, Red's got a lot of uh, strong presence on the point right now, so they're playing with more confidence. But last round they did take the point first. The, the Red Heavy, uh, about half health, had Jurati on him, and then uh, uses the crew to sprint away. Points uncaptured. Red has a lot of time on it. They're demo man down. Uh, not having bio tonight is definitely a big loss. I haven't seen much of uh, MC Bushido or... As, as I mentioned before, not sure uh, what alias that might be for. Um, but uh, GG now are starting to surge in this map. Uh, although, as I say that, they've given up the point very quickly. They're trying to push with this crit streak. Um, Blaze got a big pick on the medic there. Yeah, that, that was a good one. Sorry, I was watching, watching the playback on yours. Um, somebody's asking, uh, why was this played on regular viaduct and not pro viaduct? I think regular viaduct was the viaduct that was used in the rotation. Uh, I think next season these guys would probably switch over to pro viaduct, and I'm sure it would be more helpful for Highlander. Uh, I don't know if you've, uh, tried playing pro viaduct on Highlander, Michael. Uh, not yet, but, uh, like you say, I hope they add, definitely add it next season. Yeah, uh, I mean, it adds a new dimension, opens up that right hallway. That whole we'll pass. Force, yeah, we'll force a different strategy from engineers more Wrangler as well so yep now um a big crit screen going down from the on the heavy wow oh, takes out fire right the last second does go down but uh did a ton of damage yeah yeah I think it's interesting with the crit screen uh switch we've seen a lot more success from red uh also they've been using it more on their heavy this guy rather than their demo man we definitely see demo stickies from uh, blue team. Yeah. Blue pushing up from both sides now. Getting just a little bit of pressure on the point. Yeah, and uh, Firefly is now on charge. He's got to be a little bit careful. He's got 85%. Got to make sure you get it. Looks like they should be able to get uh, on the point here and take it over. They're doing a good job of capturing it quickly, which is really important. And um, they're a minute and a half uh, off, but... Um, we've seen them have, you know, uh, holds of longer than that length. They're, oh, yeah. They've shown that they can really defend the point when they control it. I and mean, they're in a great position right here with the Uber charge. So. Yeah, this was a great decision to go Uber, by the way. that uh, That's going to make a huge difference uh, when it comes down to the engagement if they uh, remained on crits, which I think did Seabass switch over he's yet? Still he's crits. still on crits. yeah. So, um, so it's going to be really, really hard. They're going to have to get either an incredible pick or a snipe on that medic before they can. And they also did a really good job. As soon as they took the point, they cleared off of it. They're forcing Red to come out. And uh, really, you know, fight an uphill battle. Yeah. And they're going to use this crit pretty soon here. But the pressure's coming in on the heavy, so that's going to disrupt the plans. The heavy has gone down. Oh, uh, yeah. So they, CS is probably going to end up critting the soldier. And they actually, right uh, they, they've managed to force the Uber there, which was uh, really good uh, really good for them now. Because now he's got 100% crits, so uh, they've got a uh, really short window to use this crits before they get the Uber Sharks back up and uh, kill the medic. In order for them to really uh, swing it back in their favor. Yeah, and they're definitely going. Uh, crits heavy has been in insane. The demo man's leading it this time. And they'll probably switch off to the heavy. Um, but that good reflex. Reflex going around. They've gotten three kills. None of them really from the crits creek, but they're still working for it. Uh, Firefly with 70%. And it, it jumped now. Uh, infinite. Oh, sorry. A combat toast. The player picks off Firefly. And my players can hang on there. The red soldier going huge on the blue medic. Yeah, yeah so this GG recaptures the point there, and uh, looks like they're doing a pretty good job of holding it. They got some really aggressive positioning out of their demo men. Yeah, um, 
really, really strong play from GG there. I think that jump in on the medic is going to give him, you know, another solid chunk of time. Because I, I don't think, uh, you know, even though that they're running crits creek, blue team can't really push in here until they get the uber charge. Um, if they get, happen to get a bunch of frags and an uh, ineffective crits creek, uh, you know, maybe they can capture earlier, but they have to wait for the uber charge. Yeah. They have to make sure they get it too, otherwise, just a, a lost cause. Oh, actually, they're running crits creek, so. I guess they feel like they, they don't have time to, to burn here and got to get this crits out. They're losing some players, though. They're, they're down at just the, the med, um, scout, and soul, uh, sniper. So, yeah, it looks like GG is going to have this uh, round quite comfortably. Yeah, it looks like uh, GG is... Oh, wow, great, great pick out of star there. Gets fireflies. He's coming around the corner. So that's definitely going to seal this round. Uh, but I think that uh, if I were in the Desolation Angels position right now, I would really be uh, sticking with that Uber Charge and just um, charging it really aggressively and, um, you know, uh, taking it back yeah. to the uh, the old school, I guess. Uh, the well, I, I think it's, yeah, like w the swapping back and forth, too. It's like they were the ones who went Crit Screak initially, Crit Screak to counter Uber. And Seabass switched to crits, and I think now they gotta they gotta play the game the other way, you know, throw them for a loop. Exactly. Switch it up. Three, two, uh, let's see how they're down right now. Uh, Red has gotten the the frag. So they're, they're, a couple of their players are hurt, but they're starting to surge back in here. The soldier jumping over the top. They gotta protect the blue medic. Get the kill on the soldier right at the feet of the medic. But no, there goes Firefly Mala uh, with that crit uh, heavy weapon chain gun. It's so powerful because you just kill people from range, you know, just out of nowhere. Like, all of a sudden you're shooting, you know, bolts that are doing 60 damage or whatever. Yeah. Um, and there's a, there's just no damage follow-up, so it does the same damage as if you were up in their face at any range, which yeah. is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, Heavy's been doing work today. Oh, yeah. They're taking a really, uh, really forward position there. Yeah, then using the sandwich in the in the grew to get out of there. Who's trying to pressure in with his uber charge, um, but no. Combat toast, uh, ripping him up, and um, I think now um, GG are playing with confidence, and they're just batting around uh, Desolation Angels. There goes Raz, big backstab on the pyro. About the only thing Blue Hat's going for him right now is Gunslinger on the right hand rocks. That gets taken out by Blaze. Blue team trying to posture behind the house. Wow. Um, Chris, uh, a sticky taking out the, the spy. Two down for Red. Two down for Blue now. Pyro going down for Red. The, the soldier jumping for Red. Trying to get up. Oh, actually picks up a dispenser kill while trying to jump around. Taking out before he can escape. Yeah, it looks like uh, Des is having a lot of a lot of trouble there. Uh, finding a place to push out with this grid streak. Wow! It does go down, and uh, Chris finally doing some work with it. Is that four kills he picked up? Yeah, it looked like it. It was actually um, a dispenser, Seabass, Bushido, and then getting Mala with the follow-up pipe. Gotcha. Uh, he got a building in there, but that was a fantastic crits right over the top. And um, Red was definitely bunched up there. And that's the power of crits, Craig. Um, but Seabass uh, is uh, going to be coming back at him. I don't know. Seabass just went down to, to Hay. So Hay with a nice uh, stab there. Yep. Red just trying to surge in here just with players. MC's gotten a uh, couple kills, knocked some buildings down. Red and uh, Red Heavy is trying to get in there, very hurt. Um, they took out Firefly, so another great kill there on Firefly. I think Blue should just push into him right now, though. That's how they have to respond. Your medic went down, but you still have seven other players, and you just got to stop this. You just got to throw it out and stop it. Yes. Because, you know, what's the worst that happens? You lose all your players, and you lost the point. Like, if you're waiting for your medic, you might as well just... Go and try to stop it and, and throw those seven players at him. Well, exactly. They also had uh, local numbers, and they had a little bit, I guess, uh, I would say a superior class wow. advantage. Wow. Yeah, and Raz just got a, a triple backstab. Oh, man. I think 
Yeah, it was it was right above, uh, right below where the camera was for yeah, a second. Yeah, caught there. the, third, the one. third one. Yeah. One. So yeah, red team very comfortably in the uh, control of the point. They have the crits here. Crits heavy. I do it right now. Do it right now. What are you waiting for, bro? Oh. He, he saved his heavy, but he, he should have he should popped it when I called it. I don't know. That's my take on it, but. Uh, yeah, it's easy to make those calls from the commentator booth, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Here comes blue crits now, and uh, red, oh. Wow. Yeah, Spy in, uh, doing work. Yeah, definitely. They were in a tough spot there, so blue looks like they should be able to get the recapture here. Red uh, trying to get on it, but... Um, wow. Pyro coming in there. They've stalled it. Still get the capture. Now they're going to have to hold for 2 minutes and ten, uh, 10 seconds. Only three players up right now. Red, a fantastic play there. Definitely weakened up blue, so they did give it up, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to hold on to it. Uh, Red out to a, a 3 0 lead. Thanks to Gang Gaming are tearing it up. We are going to have a halftime. That means we're going to take a quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, but stay tuned. We got at least one more devastatingly brutal viaduct round coming at you. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Woo. So, yeah. Oh, shout out to YouTube. <laughs> what up, YouTubers? Tubular. Tubular, dad. And Delicious. As far as I know, everything's working on the audio, correct? Uh, yeah, there was some comments on my clipping, but yeah. uh, I think that was just my mumble setting, so yeah. I, I bumped it down a little bit. Yarp! <clears throat> yep. I had it. Part of that bumped. is, is yeah. the mumble server really in Chicago? If it, or Dallas, if, if it is, you might move it to Chicago, if we can. It's more centralized. Um, You want to call the audio back in, or are we back? We back. Oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, players just saying they're going to take a little little halftime break. Let's start again in 10 minutes. Wow. Um, so, definitely a stretch of the legs. Um, there is no STV tonight. Um, this is just, you know, kind of a small UGC uh, private server. So, uh, we're, just, we're just here for the cast. Um, but uh, we are having... Um, we are having casts throughout the week. Uh, I think tomorrow's um, action is starting at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. I am pretty excited for that because uh, it's going to be a doubleheader. Duder is going to be running production, so you know the graphical quality is going to be top-notch. You know that we're going to have a fun time. Um, Shadow Puppet is going to be joining me, and uh, Pure should be joining us as well. Um, after uh, the first game, because there's going to be a double header, and um, at least I'm hoping it's still going to be a double header. There was a little bit of a rumor that um, the mix-up game might be played later in the week, but um, the first game is Snooplicity versus HRG, a nice uh, friendly match between uh, the sixth and seventh place teams. Then we're going to be watching <laughs> Quantic versus Mixup. And that is going to be amazing. That is, um, the two teams are still undefeated. They've yet to face each other this season. This Ooh. is the two top teams. We know they're the two top teams. We know that they're a step above Experiment Area 51 and another couple steps in front of everybody else. These t teams are both amazing. And this is the first time we're going to see them fight it out this ESEA season. Yeah, no, definitely excited to uh, watch that one. Gravel Pit, too, is the, the map. And uh, Gravel Pit's... It's pretty fun, man. Yeah. I love Gravel Pit. Hopefully don't go into any overtime scenarios with it, but uh uh yeah, always always great to see uh the way the metagame's kind of evolved in Gravel Pit over the years. Uh yeah. just going back and watching some of the old VODs, the way people used to roll out and did you know that people used to take their medics to A? Um I know. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. Yeah. It's nuts like what if um, what if you got sniped? I ha I have some some of the old matches I did for X T V, the very beginning matches. Uh, were there were some gravel pit ones in there because I did like season four uh, finals. I did like mm -hmm. season four lower bracket, and right. man, that was when my uh, first getting started. And uh, yeah, definitely check those out if you want to see some older gravel pit ones. 
Uh, of course, there's some great European gravel pit ones. I think Dignitas has a, a vlog video from back in the days with Agron talking about uh, their gravel pit strategy. Yep. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Demonstrated with um, uh, yeah, with the trading cards. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely made uh, my Highlander team watch those and uh, <laughs> adapted some of that, some of our strategy, uh, stole, stole most of their strategies <laughs> and, uh, and used them in okay. Highlander as best as we could. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Do it up so, pro status. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you used to be a, um, a community player. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that earlier today. Communities vs. Pros three coming up, and Michael, you were in Communities vs. Pros two. You want you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, no, it was a great experience. Uh, I got to go up against uh, the best, uh, you know, at the time, uh, TF two team in America. Um, it was a lot of fun practicing. Got to meet a lot of actually uh, the other, you know, teams. Uh, got to practice against them as well uh, in preparation for it. All the community players were great. Uh, made some great friends out of it. Met a lot of great people in the process. Uh, yeah, ended up, uh, got a, uh, just recently actually got a poster, uh, signed by all the Valve employees, which is pretty rad, uh, pretty rad little prize for it, so, uh, they're definitely gonna be doing the next one, uh, it sucks, they won't, I already asked, they won't let me do it two years in a row, so, uh, <laughs> if you are in a community and, uh, would like to, um, participate, definitely, uh, check it out, uh, go to the website, sign up, uh, you know, they'll let any scrub in, you can't have any competitive experience, if you've, if you've been an ESCA yeah. player, if you've been a, uh, you know, a, a baller, shot caller, anywhere they they generally kind of frown upon that, but uh, uh, they definitely uh, they train you good. They take you from uh from you know lowly little uh, you know throwing pipes around corners to uh doing all sorts of just craziness in just a couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, can't can't speak highly enough of it. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I highly suggest any cool uh, server that has a fun time, good pub atmosphere. And it's kind of interested in competitive side, you know. Should just throw some players. Uh, it's a pretty fun event. Definitely, as Michael said, a lot of uh, good benefits to it, and uh, you're gonna have some practices and uh, good times. Um, we're we XTV are gonna have a representative in it. Uh, that is assuming they accept our application, of course. <laughs> since we're doing the coverage of the event, we kind of got a little a little nudge nudge wink, in there. Wink. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, I think our I think our lead candidate is going to be Salamancer. Awesome, and um, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it, you know my name was kicked around a little bit the other day, but then I was like, you know, doesn't meet the requirements. Uh, I'd You're, like to be the captain, but yeah, you are been, too good at TF2, unfortunately. Yeah. ESCA tried to pay me money for ESCA. <laughs> I am so I'm, I'm not a community player in this in this event. Um, we oh we got Francis in here from Too Fast uh, Too Fort Too Furious who awesome. was, uh, also played with you so what up Francis hey what up Frank <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yep uh, so the players are saying uh, starting in, in thirty seconds so we will uh, be out of this um, soon but once again communities versus pros three going to be awesome all at your friends do it up and what was that you website they can go to to sign up again. I put it I put it in the, the address, but if you want a, a verbal reminder, pubcomp.com slash CVP. We are live with the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Gang Gaming taking a 3-0 lead. I've been putting the stomp on Dessa, but let's see what Desca can do here. Still in the blue, still running Crits Seabass still on Crits Creek. In the winning formula here. But so Atala, unfortunately, just got backstabbed by a hey. Nova mode getting two snipes as well. So thing going blue's way. They're coming up firing after that pep talk. Yeah, I don't know what they uh definitely uh someone lit a fire under someone else's butt there, but uh uh looks like um <clears throat> excuse me, seeing a lot more aggression out of them this time. Uh uh you can see oh wow, uh Chris Cree going down for the heavy immediately. Blaze does not care though. He just puts him down. Uh, Throws out the wall air shot too. Yeah, just uh, going straight in his face with a <laughs> crit minigun just the whole way. So big props right there. Uh, yeah. Still managing to keep a great hold on the point though. It was a good attempt by Firefly and good um, knowledge of the game to use that crit Krig there. But yeah, it's so unfortunate to just have Blaze jump all over him. So blue is set up pretty well. They are gonna get the crit streak. Uh, well, it looks like about the same tar time. Vast just the charging. 
And uh, pressure's starting to come in here from red before the Uber. Over from the blue soldier going for the bomb. At the same time, Nova Mode takes out Seabass, then gets a pull up kill. Blue getting killed, doing works, and holding on to the point. A minute off, red's trying to pressure. Five down for blue, six down, Firefly going down. Oh, red will take the point. Yeah, now, uh, interestingly enough here, here uh, even though Firefly looks like he is going to spawn later, because Seabass uh, is not running the Vitasaw, he's actually going to have the uber advantage on the Firefly. So, yeah, uh, it's definitely an uh, interesting strategy. I mean, just um, on by instinct, you know, the the Vitasaw is kind of almost acknowledging that you're you're going to die a lot. And the crit Krieg almost in a sense, well, you're like, well, if I die, at least I'll be back soon and we'll be able to get another charge soon and quickly. Um, but it is Firefly was getting a slight advantage there. Fortunately, with his players going down, uh, the charges are, well, in the opposite favor now. Yeah, but with a map like this, I gotta say, the crit Krieg over the Uber charges, I I gotta say, it's, I think it's a good decision because the map really is all, all about your damage dealing and deathmatch capability, and the crit yeah. Krieg adds a lot more to that than Uber Charge does. Uber, Uber Charge is great defensively, especially on maps where you're, uh, you know, 5 CP, you're trying to hold a point, etc. But uh, in a map like this, where it's all about your damage output, crit Krieg just makes more sense. Yeah. Very popular choice. Here comes the crits from Crit. Getting two frags. Yeah, plus two, you just have all those players in close proximity with each other. Um, and, uh, you know, the way that planner works with all the players, you just want to get frags sometimes, not necessarily just use the Uber. Exactly. You, know, you might only get one or two frags from an Uber, but you get four frags from a crit screen. Yeah, Dessa doing a good job of pushing back out uh, with her uh, crit screen. Uh, like the decision. Oh, and the meta goes down right as I say that. Oh, man. But uh, I definitely like their decision uh, there with uh, Christing the Demo over for Christing the Heavy because the Demo has that burst damage. Uh, now as they've gone down though, it uh, looks like uh, GG is going to hop back on the point. Yeah. I was kind of snorting. Uh, Seabass just like jumped on a roller right as it exploded. <laughs> um, well, it was kind of comical, but it uh, didn't really make a difference at all. So. A uh, fighter for low health taken out. Blue losing their heavy. Um, losing the heavy is is a very big deal in Highlander. Uh, heavy almost as important as the medic or the demo man. Yeah, good good forward pressure here, and a uh, great distraction letting the spike it and get the backstep on the engineer. Yeah, he's dead ringing too. So Colony, um, he's gotten the kill, but Raz still running. Yeah, both spies have been doing good. High's gotten a big kill uh, for his uh, team, uh, but so is Raz. Here comes the crits again. Not really getting much work on it, and uh, I think that was a Jurati in there that allowed Blaze to get a mini crit kill on Fighter. <laughs> High's just busting out the headshots left and right. Fix the sniper. Oh, that was a good shot. Blue just putting a little bit of pressure on it. Red has a pretty good... Well, no, actually... Oh, two backstabs for Hay. Going for the demo man as well. <laughs> Trying to round the corner. Doesn't get it, but uh, provides the distraction. That's a big turnover, but, um, you know, now we're going to have to see a very solid uh, minute and a half defense. Uh, a minute even. I totally think they can. Yeah, they can, they can do it, especially because with 10 seconds left on the clock, that means that if they do manage to get some kind of crazy back cap on the GG side, uh, they have an opportunity, a small one, to hop back on the point without immediately losing. So it's not like it's overtime. They have a chance here. It's it's definitely looking bad for them, but you know they've they've got a good. Oh, and if they fend off the soldier here, yeah, man, the medic does manage to uh, stay alive, and uh, they got some pretty good frags. A lot of time on the point, though. Yeah, crits Still going down. To, they have the number advantage right now. Seabass about to get crits as well. So yeah, if they can defend against this crits, it's coming up right here on the heavy, and there it goes. Yeah. That heavy crits is so good, though. I mean, like, you have to use the demo and the heavy ones differently. But I think that the reds, uh, red team's use of that uh, heavy crits Krieg has has been invaluable this game. It's definitely kind of really helped them seal the deal. Uh, yeah. It's basically been that and a couple key plays uh, by other players here and there. Uh, really well played by Gangsta Game Gaming. The GG's going out. Um, very strong. Also, props to the players for staying in the server. 
not cutting off the end of the game. Always love it when that happens. Indeed. Um, and, uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. So uh, I think we're going to try to hunt down um, an STV for the Wonderbolts uh, game because people are asking us about it. Uh, Duder is in the game, so uh, I don't really want to uh, pester him. Um, so, yeah, we're, I think we will cut off this um, this broadcast. And uh, stay real soon. We'll probably just go live again um, and, and hang out with you guys for a second. So hopefully another um, another Highlander game coming up with the Wonderbolts, which has Banny from Quantic Gaming. No Tyrone tonight. But our boy Duder stepping in to the... The soldier spot going to go huge. So hopefully we'll get that coming up. We're going to cut the uh, broadcast, and we will be right back, guys. Stay tuned. Robot voice. We're